everyone, so today I thought I'd do a skincare routine video. I haven't done one for quite a while, I think since the summer, and quite a few things have changed, but I wanted to use them for a few months just so I knew that they were working and that everything was working out for me. So it's going to be a bit of a long one. I have like a double page worth of notes here because there's quite a few things I didn't want to forget to say. And number one, I do have makeup on, but I've only sorted out my eyebrows because they were an absolute mess and I've got mascara on and touch of lip gloss but I haven't got anything on my face and that's because I can sit here and tell you about my skincare routine but everyone looks amazing with a shed load of foundation on so I thought if I don't have anything on my face you can kind of see what my skin looks like without anything on so that gives you a good idea of how my routine is working so that is one thing my current skin type is kind of normal-ish back in the day before I started to get any kind of skincare routine together it was very quite oily and very sensitive, even if I just splashed water on my face in the morning it would just go like glow bright red and it would I'd really struggle to cover it up with um, like foundations and concealers and that kind of thing. And it still is slightly reddish, especially around the centre of my face. I've got a bit of a like scar here from where I picked a spot, don't do it because I've been left with like a bit of a red mark there and also I get the odd spot, I've got one here, have one on my chin the other day. So it's not perfect by any means, but it's definitely more manageable now and it's definitely more normal. I get the odd oily patch from time to time and the odd dry patch from time to time and the odd spot as well thrown in, but generally it's not too horrendous. I definitely, when I first started getting into my skincare, went through a really like Lizelle phase, then I went through a very Origins phase, then I went through quite an Aesop phase. So at the moment, it, there's still a few of those products in, but I've sort of added a few new bits in and I really like how it's working. But I will link all my past skincare routines below. Another point to mention is that products only can do so much. It's also a combination of your lifestyle and what you're eating and that kind of thing. And I can definitely tell a difference in my skin if I've been eating absolute crap. I can just tell, I start getting spots, it does not look too fantastic. Also, if I start not particularly sleeping too great, last week I think I got really into Girls, that the new TV show that everyone's talking about, and I watched like the whole series in like two nights and stayed up till like 3 a.m. And the next morning I looked pretty horrendous and my eyes were looking so dark underneath. So if I sleep well, if I eat averagely okay, don't really drink too much alcohol, I don't drink tea or coffee, I don't smoke. So I try to be averagely healthy and that definitely helps. Also, once a week I tend to apply face masks, and that's a whole different kettle of fish. So I've actually got a like top five face masks video that I will link to below because I just use those on rotation when my skin's feeling a little bit lacklustre or a little bit dry or a little bit congested. I kind of use different ones, so I will link that up below. Right, I guess I'd better get on with this one. I there's quite a few either ors, like I mix it up depending on the day what my skin's like, and that's definitely through. Caroline from Beauty Mouth, she is like a skincare expert. I'm in, by no means an expert at all. Everything I've learned is just from like the internet and reading people's blogs and watching YouTube videos. So this is kind of like people I really, really admire skincare wise and who know their stuff. I've sort of taken recommendations from all of them and put them all together. But Caroline is definitely the best. She's like the best skincare guru out there. So I'll link her up below because her website is like a wealth of knowledge for people who like skin. I'm going to get started with my morning routine and that's quite simple, it sort of stays the same, there's a few little bits that I change around, but when I wake up the first thing I use is this and it's the Emma Hardy Amazing Face Natural Lift and Sculpt Moringa Cleansing Balm. I would not have touched this in a barge pole like a year or two ago, I would have thought, because it's a balm, it looks a bit like butter almost, I'm nearly at the end of mine and you just take out a little tiny bit of it on your hands. I rub it in between my hands and then work it into my dry face. And then just take a flannel, anything, muslin cloth, whatever you fancy, wet that with warm water, and then just kind of slough it off my face. And that really helps just to get rid of all the gross stuff that's like worked up on your skin while you sleep. My skin's really bright afterwards. Like I said, I never would have gone with this before because I would have thought it'd be way too greasy for my skin, but it just works so nicely. You're not left with squeaky, clean skin, you're just left with really nice, nourished skin. So this is probably one of my favourite things I've discovered this year. I'm not too keen on the packaging and the top bit always snaps and falls off. It's not overly sexy, but it's what's inside that counts and I think it is amazing. So I really recommend this if nobody's tried it before because it is so nice on my skin and I really notice the difference when I use that. Then I move on to a toner and I'm still using my Aesop Parsley Seed Antioxidant Facial Toner. Just get that on a cotton pad and rub it in, done. 
sometimes I use a serum in the morning, sometimes I don't. And recently I've been using the YSL Forever Youth Liberator Serum. It's a nice serum to use like during the daytime because it's not too heavy and it just leaves a really nice radiant finish to your skin. I'm not too keen on using this overnight, I don't find it nourishing enough. But during the day it just leaves a nice glow to the face and it sinks in so quickly you don't even know it's there. And some of the serums I've used in the past definitely feel quite heavy on the skin. This one doesn't at all. It has a very suspect uh, texture, which isn't too pretty, but <laughs> blends nicely into the skin and just leaves a really nice base for the rest of your skincare. I then tend to move on to an eye cream, and this is practically all gone. It's, it's the Lorac Dioptikam Anti Fatigue, uh, it's the balm and mask. If I'm just having a day where I'm like around the house, not really doing too much, I'll take a load of this and really kind of just put it under the, is it the orbital bone? I don't know what it's called, but the bone you've got around there, and I'll just really put it on and my eyes just drink it up. It is incredible, it's the best eye cream that I found. I've tried loads of like fancy, really expensive ones, this one was about 15 quid, it's lasted a long time, and I think it's great. Really good for tired, puffy, red eyes, which I get quite a lot, especially when I stay up late and watch girls. Then, moisturiser. I kind of flip between two, and they're both from This Works. If I'm having quite a pale day, and I fancy a bit more of a tan to my skin, or during the summer, the Perfect Look Skin Miracle was the one that I went for. I've raved on about this time and time again. There's a review on my blog, and I'll link that up below. But now it's the winter and I need a bit more nourishment in my skin, need a bit of something, something extra. I've been going for the Perfect Skin Super Moisture. This isn't serum and moisturiser in one, so when I use this, I don't tend to use, oops, sorry, the YSL serum. But this just gives a really like oomph of moisture to my skin, plumps it up, isn't too heavy, but it's heavy enough to not leave anywhere dry at all, and the rest of my makeup just sinks really nicely into it. Then there are two final steps in the morning. Like I said, I love my skincare, there's, there's quite a lot here. If I'm wearing a foundation or tinted moisturiser that doesn't have any SPF in it, I will use this. This is the Shansky Ultra Protection SPF 50 PA++. This is a fantastic, really, really pricey, but a fantastic sunscreen. I use this loads over the summer. Because now I'm very much like in my home, in the office at my home, I'm not really out in the sun too much. If I know I'm going to have a day where I'm like out shopping and I might be out and about a bit more than usual, then I will definitely apply this no matter what base I've got on. But if I, I kind of like depends, depends what sort of day I'm going to have as to whether I use this or not because it's so expensive, I'm trying to like prolong it for as long as I possibly can. And the final step, there is a final step, we have got to the end of the morning routine anyway, is the Clarins Instant Smooth Self Tanning. And again, I've done a review of this on my blog. It's a self tanner, a tint and a primer all in one. So it just really evens out the skin. Like today, I probably would just put a concealer where I need it, blend it in and go. And that's all due down to this because it just tans up your skin a bit. Looks like caramel in a jar. But it's just a really nice product to kind of finish off your routine. You look in the mirror and you're like nicely satisfied. Like that has done something that looks really nice. Then, okay. Then in the evening, it's kind of one of the first things I do when I get home. I don't really like wearing makeup around the house. I just feel like it's kind of sitting there and not really impressing anyone or really doing that much. So I, the first thing I do when I get home is take my makeup off. And for that I use Bioderma. I picked this up from eBay, but you can now get it from Harvey Nichols in the Beauty Mart bit. Um, but I will link up the eBay seller below where I get it from. I go through like one of these every few months. They last quite a long time. It's a, and it's a micellular water, so what it does is it's like a mixture of water and oil, but it doesn't feel oily on the, on the skin at all. It's basically just like splashing water on your face, and I find it gets all my face makeup off. I tend to use one of these big cotton wool pads. These are from then. I've recently found the Nude Perfect Cleansing Oil for Face and Eyes. I don't like using this all over my face, but I find getting waterproof mascara off, or like really heavy eye makeup off, this is incredible for eye makeup removal basically and it doesn't have mineral oil in and so many other oil makeup removers have mineral oil in the sure mirror one is basically just mineral oil with a tiny bit of good stuff in the top so I like this because it's not got any nasties in and it does the job I was I put a um a black smoky eye on the other day for my air in palette post I'll link that up below and it's like black practically to my eyebrows and I just went Whoo, 
and off it came. So this is good, it's not something I reach for every day, but if I've got a bit of extra science something going on in my eyes, this is what I use to take it off. Then for toners in the evening, I either use my Aesop one again, or this one, which is the Zellens PH Plus Bio Peel Resurfacing Facial Pads. These do a very, very similar job to the Alpha H Liquid Gold, but without glycolic acids, so it doesn't affect, when you use Alpha H, you really need to be careful about SPF the day after, because it makes your skin more sensitive to sun damage. This doesn't have that in. It has similar products in, similar ingredients in, but it doesn't have that in, so it's a bit more gentle on the skin. If you can't use Alpha H, this might be something worth checking out. It does come in pads. I'm not overly sure on products that come in pads because I find them quite wasteful, and already I'm like finding a way of like halving the pads and making it last a bit longer because I think you get about 56 or oh, 50 in here. So it's not going to really last forever, but if you halve the pad or are just using it every few nights, you don't need to use it every night, these are really nice and the way they work is they, you cleanse your face and then it like seals in the moisture and it acts as almost like a glue for your serum to go on top of and your moisturiser to go on top of, so it's really good if you've got dry skin or lacklustre skin, it helps to exfoliate and really suck the moisture into your skin, so these work really well and I've really been using that on my like scarring bit that I've got going on here and it's really helped to kind of take that down, so works well for scarring. Then for serums, I've got two because that's what I like to do. Like Caroline said, it's nice to have like a working skincare wardrobe, so if your skin's a bit more oily one day, it's nice to have a choice. If it's a bit more dry another day, it's nice to have another thing to use, and that's what I've got going on here. On her recommendation, I bought the Hydraluron, I think that's how you say it. You can pick this up from Boots. It's from Indeed Labs, they did the Nano Blur, like a year or two ago that everyone went crazy for. I personally didn't like it, but I do like this. It's a clear gel, has a shed load of hyaluronic acid, I think that's how you say it in, which is a really good ingredient for the skin. It basically holds like a thousand times its own weight in water. So it's really fantastic for if you've got dry skin. So I've been using this if I'm having a particularly like dry day or just a bit of a blur day, but if I'm having a bit more of a greasy day, I go for the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair I'm sure you've heard about this before. This works really well if my skin's congested and looking a bit spotty. I tend to go for this one. It's like a, a kind of golden yellow liquid. It's got a little pipette thing, a few drops of this all over the face and I find it really helps to clear my skin out. So I've got sort of two choices as to whether I'm feeling a bit spotty or a bit dry. Then I go on to eyes and in the evening I do use a serum on my eyes. I don't think this is particularly necessary but it was just something I had hanging around. So thought I'd try and use it up. It's the Elemis Pro Collagen Advanced Eye Treatment. So I just put a drop of that on to my like little ring fingers and just dab that into the orbital bone. And then I go back with the Lorac because I just think it's incredible and put a shed load of that on. The moisturiser that I've been using in the evenings is the Origins High Potency Nitamins. This is the oil-free one. It smells incredible. It smells like lemongrass type thing and it's a kind of gel formula moisturiser. It's really sinks beautifully into the skin, it's not heavy at all but it gives a nice dose of moisture plus in the morning you just wake up and your skin is so smooth. If I can be bothered, if I'm feeling a bit tanny, I go for this and this is the Clarins Liquid Bronze Self Tanning, I'm really out of mine, I've just jiggled it all up but it's all just around the sides. This is fantastic for overnight tanning, Clarins face tanners are where it's at. You can use this one during the day as well, but I just prefer to use the Instant Smooth one because it's kind of got primer in and it's just a bit more daytime focused. But this one in the evening, put it on a little um, cotton pad and just sort of sweep it all over my face and I'm done. And that is actually my evening skincare routine. But there are a few extra bits that I sort of throw in that I thought I would show you. So the first one is Alpha H Liquid Gold. I'm sure you've heard a lot about this, like everyone's kind of raving about this at the moment and I'm just going to jump on the bandwagon too because I think it's fab as well. I tend to use this mm, kind of twice a week I guess, so kind of every three days, every four days and all you do when you use this is you cleanse like normal, use this in the place of your toner and then don't use anything else on the skin. The active ingredient in it is glycolic acid and what that helps to do is a very very complex process and Ruth from A Model Recommends has done an amazing post on all the different things that it does for your skin. But in a nutshell, it helps to exfoliate and it's like a chemical exfoliator. So it kind of, it's like little brushes for your face that get down there and really, really help 
to reveal the new skin, reveal the new layer of skin with a, a real radiance to it. So it's kind of like a radiance booster, fantastic for congested skins, but also equally fantastic for dry skins because it's getting rid of all that extra skin that you need to give a bit of radiance. So I've actually just filled up a whole memory card and just had to go and sort that out and sit back down again. I really need to fasten this up. So a few of you may be wondering where my Clarisonic is because if you watched my last skincare video, I was probably using it every day, morning and evening. Then I sort of cut it down to just in the evenings. Then when I got the Emma Hardy, what's it called? Amazing Face Balm thing. It doesn't work particularly well with that and I really wanted to give this a good go. So that's when I got into using like flannels and muslin cloth every day instead of using my Clarisonic. But I still do like using the Clarisonic every now and again and I find it works well as like a treatment. So if my face is really congested, really kind of few spots coming up here and there and just generally looking a bit blah, I will give it a go and I use it with the Ren Clear Calm 3 Clarifying Clay Cleanser. That was a mouthful. And so I just put this on, it's almost like a mini face mask because it is clay based. So just squirt like one load of this out, put it on my face, leave it to like, I don't know, dry in a bit for like a minute or two. Then I just wet the top of the Clarisonic and then just massage it in with that and I find that that works really nice. That is everything. All of the product names and sort of links where you can get them from will be below and anything that I've mentioned will be in the info box. So do check that out. If you have any questions, you can write a comment below, I'll try my best to answer or tweet me, it's the easiest way to reply to you guys, so I will try my best there. But like I said, I'm no skincare expert and Caroline is your girl. She does clinics every now and again where you can write a comment and she'll write back to you and it, her advice is just amazing. So definitely check out her website if you're into skincare, but I hope that helps some of you, I hope it was interesting. Hopefully I've managed to edit this video down into less than half an hour it's taken me to film it, so I hope that's all worked out and I'll see you guys soon, thanks for watching, bye!